testing APIs is a crucial skill in today's industry. By taking this course, you are making yourselves so much better for the future. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you guys something. If I pull up Google Trends here, you guys might know Google, right? The number one search engine in the world. Well, they have this thing they call Google Trends where you can type in some keywords and see the trend of the number of people searching for those keywords. The other reason that you guys need to understand API testing is because APIs require less time for test case creation. If your API tests take less time to create than the GUI automated tests, they get a greater ROI on the API tests than the GUI tests. So if all of these three reasons were not enough for me to convey to you why you need to start learning how to test APIs, the fourth definitely should, and I already showed it to you guys, it's that it's on the rise while GUI testing is on the decline. So this is what the testing progression looks like. We begin with smoke tests. Once you finish creating smoke tests, then you will move on to creating crud tests. Then you will move on to creating negative tests. Then you will move on to creating boundary tests. And finally, security tests. And all of those we can consider, besides security, we can consider the rest regression tests. Another key takeaway from all this is that SOAP web services are very brittle and very hard to use. Therefore, they are slowly on the decline and REST services are the new popular type of service. We talked about REST services and we played with them and we set up automated tests to hit them. I taught you guys Postman and one of the key takeaways there is that you start utilizing an application like Postman to validate what you're doing in UFT is actually working. I recommend anytime you get an error, you check it in UFT and you check it in Postman and make sure that those match up. So you can think of Postman as your friendly assistant, a double checker to help you make sure you're doing things right. Think about it, how easy it is for me to go into this REST API, into the toolbox. Sorry, give it one second to load into the toolbox, go to this REST service, edit it, add another method. Instead of query books, it will be something else. And now I can test that that method works. This takes what, like a minute to add that API and then maybe if you want, you can go in and set up a checkpoint for your test, right? Come in here, set up checkpoints and so on and so forth. 